So hey good lickings, or it's kickings. Sorry for that little split of the episode there, but the fight against the gym leader took like 20 minutes and it was ridiculous, so I had to split the episode, else you'd be here forever. Anyway, onwards to the gym leader battle! Seriously, imagine if like there's an old guy trainer who's just coming in, it's always been his dream of being a Pokemon master, but he's had like bills to pay and family to raise, and then finally goes into retirement and thinks, before I die, I'm gonna be a Pokemon trainer and get all the gym badges. And then he comes into this gym and he like can't climb up all the ropes and stuff and there's giant nets in the way and he just gives up. That's really sad. Oh, now I'm crying. <laughs> so yeah, they should probably redesign this gym. But anyway, we're at the gym leader now. And I am going to heal up all my team this time instead of just going in with really low health. I do have lots of heals, I think. We have potions. There we go. Do I have anything? I have a hyper potion. That would be much better. we we'll use that on bird face. Here we go. And on Zoe Zozo. Here we go. And we use the potions on the other dudes. We'll get them all up to full. I am sorry that I can't revive the other guys, but they did a good job on the first trainers, so that's fine. And now, using the challenge rules, I will put Birdface in front, but she can only use each move once. So you have to make it count, Birdface, okay? You have to make it count. Here we go. Gym leader, I challenge you. Ho! Oh, so you made it clear up here. I'm the gym leader, and Ramos is the name. So what do you think, whippersnapper? Did you enjoy the garden playground I made with all these sturdy plants of mine? Their strength is a sign of my strength, as a gardener and a gym leader. You sure you're up to facing all that? Here we go. Gym Leader Ramos, who is actually one of the old man's, old man's that I previously mentioned, and he seems to get up here fine to do gym battling. I mean, he's right at the top of the tower, so I guess I underestimate old people. They're awesome! Jump Luff. Bird face. Poop. This actually won't work so well because it's a flying type. Uh, bird face, we're going to save you for the... How many Pokemon does he have? Two other Pokemon. And we're bringing Shu, who can instead use a rollout, which should be a bit better against a flying type. Here we go. I know you can do it, Shu. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, rollout, go! Oh, look out for the something! Ouch! Oh, that's much better. I knew you could do it. <laughs> Right, I guess you're going for another rollout, but it's going to use acrobatics, oh dear. Hang in there. Ah, I'm sorry, Shu. Okay, well, you did a good hit. What else can we use? We get Zoe Zozo in. Okay, here we go. Use a strength attack. Oh, no. Oh, crikey, it's really fast. And it does that weird thing where it's like, I don't know what it does. It goes through Super Saiyan and, like, jumps all over the battlefield. But I do have the power of love. Power of love. I can't use strength again, so I have to use Shadow Ball. As per challenge rules. It's using Hyper Potions, that's not fair. <laughs> anyway, go for the Shadow Ball. Good. That's great. We're gonna switch you in now. You're out of attacks, so I guess we have to use Bub. Here we go. I know you can do it, Bob. Ooh! Oh gosh. Well, it's getting, it's getting hit by the Rocky Helmet, so try for a bite attack, Bob. Oh, crikey, why is it so fast? Hang in there, Bob. Good job. Don't cry, you can do it. Bite it, bite it in the face. Yay! Okay, we're gonna use a hyper potion too. Cause that's just that's just cheeky what that gym leader did there. Here we go. Hyper potion versus hyper potion. Although you don't have any moves left. Okay, so I guess you're gonna have to use a water pulse. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Okay. 
Water pulse it. It won't do anything at all, but you're fine. Oh, that was actually a decent chunk, considering. Um, rapid spin then. Get that attack out too. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't use any more hyper potions. That would suck. <laughs> it is getting hit. It's getting worn down by your rocky helmet, actually, isn't it? Okay. Well, if you use protect, will it get hit by the rocky helmet while you're protecting? Is that a thing that happens? Good. And I'll try protect again, and it will fail, right? Okay, it works. Apparently, it's supposed to fail. But if it fails and then it hits you, it will take rocky helmet damage. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have no idea what I'm doing. But that counts. We're not using an attack more than once. We're using protect over and over and damaging it with a rocky helmet. Good. <laughs> is this going to work? I don't know. Hang in there, bub. You just need to get it... <laughs> you just need to whittle it down somehow. Oh dear, this is messy. Try protect. Okay, it failed. Good. So we get hit by the rocky helmet again. <laughs> okay, we're actually pulling this off. And now we just use a potion on you so it attacks you again. There we go. Crikey. I can't believe this is actually going to work. So there we go. We took the jump off down without using an attack more than once. <laughs> Good. Okay, and finally a Weeping Bell. Okay. Well, not finally. You still got a whole other Pokemon. How am I supposed to do this? I guess we did the same strategy here. We got, we got to only use Bird Face when we absolutely need to because she has the super effective moves and I can only use them once. So hang in there with a potion and it would take Rocky Helmet damage, right? That's the thing that happens. Acid! Look out, it's puking up carrot juice. It doesn't take Rocky Helmet damage because it wasn't physical. Oh dear. Well, I guess I guess we do have to bring you in, Birdface. Here we go. Come back, bub. You did get it there. Okay, Birdface. This is all down to you. Don't get poisoned. Ooh. That could be an issue. You're going to have to finish these guys off. Okay, you're going to have to finish them off. Don't die to the poison, please. I need you alive. Use your aerial ace attack. Do it, bird face. Yes! I knew you could do it. Look out for the acid. Oh my dears. Oh my dears. That's a phrase. And finish it off with a quick attack. Yes, it didn't use a hyper potion. Okay. Good, 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 good. Level 35. Hang in there, bird face. Level 36 for Bub too, crikey. Skull Bash. Does that count as a new move? That counts as a new attack I can use, right? Yeah, I'm just checking up the rules for this challenge that I definitely have and were definitely written. Yes, if I learn a new move, it counts as a new attack. <laughs> so what does this do? Skull Bash tucks his head in to raise defense and then rams the target on the next turn. We're gonna, we don't really have a use for Protect other than like cheesing the Rocky Helmet. So we replace Protect with that and that gives us another attack that we can use in this really quite horrible challenge that isn't working so well. Here we go. Whoever, whoever told me to do this challenge, I will find you. I will find you. <laughs> this is all down to you to get off a really cool ember and then hopefully, hopefully we can finish it off with the skull bash attack. Okay, bird face. So, here we go. Heal you up quickly. Hyper potion. Good. Done. Yay. Okay, now do the ember. Careful of the takedown. It's a goat. I just realized it's a goat. It's the evolved form of that goat we rode a couple episodes ago. Oh, that's awesome. It looks awesome, actually. I want one. You set it on fire, I think. Is that what you did? Good. That's useful. And 
And then we are going to use... We use Roost, I think, to just heal you back up. I'm in the potions menu. Here we go. Get you back up to full. And then we will take it down with an ember. It's going to take Rico damage from the um from the takedown too. So really it's just it's just damaging itself here with the burns and the recoils. So I think you can finish it off now with an ember attack. Here we go. And go. Good. That hit. That was super effective. That was uh, That was great. <laughs> We really need to get you a fire type move that does a bit more damage than that, I think. But you're still hanging in there. You're still going to pull this off, I think. Thanks to the burn damage and the Rico damage. So that is all your attacks used now. We have used all of your attacks. We can't use any of those again. So we're just going to have to wait this out. Super potion. Just keep you healed up. Keep you hanging in there. Tanking all the hits. Setting it on fire. Letting it take Rico damage. And eventually... We will finish the challenge somehow, where we didn't use an attack more than once. Good! We used protect more than once. I don't know if that breaks rules, but I was told not to use an attack move more than once, so that's fine. <laughs> it's gonna get hurt on the next turn. You just need to hang in there for one more turn. We'll keep you healed up again. And the challenge will be complete. Oh, it's not going to take recoil from that, is it? Oh, that's fine. The burn should still finish it off. Yay, we did it. We did the thing. We did the challenge. Oh, is it cool? <laughs> oh, I'm never doing that challenge ever again. That was horrible. <laughs> you can't take things too quickly when it comes to forming a friendship with your Pokemon, Sprout. Yeah, I mean, we've been together for quite a while and we've, we've formed the friendship over a series of months. Which feels a lot stronger. And Birdface is evolving. That's the thing. That's the thing that happens. Go for it, Birdface. You are the reason that we beat that gym, Birdface. This evolution for you is well deserved. I cannot wait to see what you turn into. Oh my gosh. You did a really good job against the leader. You used all your attacks to their maximum efficiency. You set everything on fire. Basically burned down the whole gym. And left a trail of destruction in our wake. And now you are a giant... Red chicken thing. Your talent flame. Yay! <laughs> that's so cool. I think that's our first final evil like final stage of evolution Pokemon. Wait, Bob as well. Oh, Cracky! <laughs> you're just jealous of Birdface. You wanted to get in on the action too. Well, that's fine. We know what you're gonna turn into. You're gonna turn into a Blastoise. Here we go. Here's where the magic happens. Yay! And we have a Blastoise tonight as well. So next episode we can show off the Mega Evolution, hopefully. There we go. Bob is now Blastoise. The big tanky guy with dual cannons. Shu didn't evolve, I don't think. He didn't reach 36. But whatever, that'll happen next time for sure. So here we go. You believe in your Pokemon, and they believe in you too. Mighty Oaks from Acorns grow. Go on then. You've earned it. Here's your own plant badge, Sprout. <laughs> Good! We got the badge! Now we can fly, even when we're not battling, and Pokemon up to level 60 will listen to us, even if we got them from a trade. But he also has a TM for us! Grass not! Yay! And that, we can trip over our opponents with a grass type move. That might be good for Shu. We might see how that works, we might put that on him. And frail little blades of grass can break through concrete. Just like our little shoe, who came from a little chest bin, and very, very soon is going to turn into a totally awesome little monster. He can't help admiring that strength. <laughs> so there we go. That is the fourth gym. And we've unlocked the slide. Yay, we have a slide now, guys. Hold on. That's a really good way to finish off the episode. So here we go. And one, two, three. Catch you next time, you also Bye! <laughs> Who's that Pokemon on the screen right there that I've drawn? Who is it? I don't know. I've forgotten. You'll have to tell me. And then we'll find out next time. <laughs>